Tulsa, Oklahoma, Deborah and William Love were at a routine appointment for her recent back surgery when they heard gunfire. The elderly couple were in an exam room with a physician assistant on the second floor of the Natalie Building on the St. Francis Health System campus. More shots rang out. We heard it up front, pow, pow, Deborah Love, 72, said. The physician assistant, stuck his head out the door and he said, it's a shooter. The door of the room did not have a lock, so the three propped their bodies against it to keep the gunman out. Police later said the target of the attack was Dr. Preston Phillips, who performed Deborah's back surgery in December, and a similar surgery on William, her husband of 54 years, in April of 2021. As the doorknob began to rattle from the outside, Deborah said the only thing going through her mind was we were going to get killed. Watch, Tulsa shooter had intent to kill doctor after ongoing pain from surgery, police say when the shooter couldn't get into the room, the three could hear him move. The physician assistant left the room, Deborah said. She and her husband stayed behind, holding the door shut in case the shooter returned. Then we could hear him coming back, Deborah recalled. The gunman tried to push through the door again, then fired through it, striking William. He went down, and he didn't say a thing. He laid there moaning, Deborah said before breaking into tears. He wouldn't turn over and he wouldn't say nothing and his eyes weren't open. She pressed her hand against the gunshot wound, which she indicated was near his left shoulder, in an effort to staunch the bleeding. Background, Tulsa shooter blamed doctor for ongoing pain, then shot anyone who got in his way, police say he lost the blood so quick, Deborah recalled. I thought maybe they hit his artery in his neck. It didn't look good, Deborah said, sharing her story from the gravel driveway of her home in Manford, Oklahoma, a little more than 24 hours after her husband was killed. I don't know where the bullets went that went through the door. I don't remember seeing them. Unless one stayed in him, I don't know. The couple that would have been married 55 years in August weren't able to say goodbye to each other, 